Just wanted to ask you, you've, you've had a chance to fight Israel Adesanya three times now, but just once in MMA. I'm curious kind of what you learned in the last fight or what surprised you in the last fight that you weren't aware of before. Bom, sempre aprendendo, né? Foi uma luta dura. Eu aprendi. Que... Always learning in my life. I know that Adesanya is a dangerous, complete fighter. Someone who's uh, always taking advantage of, uh, of opponents' weaknesses. I have to be more attentive to him. Always paying attention because he can do things. I wanted to ask you a similar question as well. Obviously, you've had three fights with, with Alex at this point. I mean, were there, was there anything in the mixed martial arts contest that surprised you or was different than you expected, or do you feel like you know this man 100% at this point? I say his uh, recovery and his fighting spirit. That's something that I definitely felt like he um, he surprised me with. But Saturday night, time for talking is done. I'm going to show him my fighting spirit. And you all know I have that shit. And for you, Izzy, on, on Saturday, what is most important to you? Is it about regaining the UFC title and being world champion again? Or is it simply beating Fuck the man? belt. I'm coming for his head. Uh, I just have to ask, what is this thing you're wearing on your neck right here? I'm a dog. It's a dog collar, and I'm about to be unleashed. É, então, vai ser uma luta psicológica e física. Todo mundo sabe, né? Eu falo para vocês que a gente tem que esquecer. It's going to be a physical fight. It's going to be a psychological fight. I've said as many times, we have to forget all those three fights. But I know he hasn't forgotten any of those three fights. And I think that's going to be a psychological factor. The important thing is what you're going to see on Saturday. This fight, like I've said, this is my eight-mile eight moment. This is it. One more shot at this. I put everything on my back. I've done everything in my power to make sure I do the worst thing to this man this weekend. I'm, I'm done with this talking shit. You guys want to hear me talk or you want to hear me fight? Ele fez isso nas últimas três lutas. Ele falou a mesma coisa e não fez. Who did this the past three fights? He said the same things it and there's always matter. that. It doesn't even understand what I said, not understand what you said. What's going to happen this weekend is we're going to fight and see who the best man is at the end. Ele me faz rir. He makes me laugh. Yes, it's the most locked in I've ever been. And again, time for talking is almost done. Saturday night. Yeah, we'll fight. Com certeza isso vai me ajudar. Of course, that's going to play a, a big thing on Saturday. Ever since uh, he, this guy has seen how much I've evolved from fight one to fight three. And I've watched a lot of fights from back in the day. And I have evolved so much. He has not changed a lot. And he understands how dangerous and how much I can do. I have one more question for Jorge. Jorge, yesterday at the hotel, there appeared to be a run in between yourself and Kevin Holland. I was curious, what was that about? Absolutely nothing. You know, there's there's nothing to talk about there. It's just some dick riding, cloud chasing bitch, you know, so ain't nothing to talk about. Nah, that's not what you were saying yesterday, bro. Watch your fucking mouth. Kevin, I'm curious, what appears what is the issue there? I called him wait, baby wait, girl and he got mad. Hey guys, come on, these two aren't even fighting. Knock it off. All right. Okay. What, what, do you have a question about the fight who these guys are fighting, or you just want to start shit in here? Question. Question. Violencia, 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 Recibir la paliza. Bendiciones a todos. Gracias a toda mi ciudad por apoyarme siempre. Ya ustedes saben, violencia nada más, cojones. A lot of violence tonight to all the people that understand me. This is for you. I've been training a lot. This is for my city. This is for the people that are here. It's all for you. I've been training a lot. I'm all for about this. Violence all the way. The people out here, we want to know as we getting the job done on Saturday. Put the house on it. It's time we clean out Vegas one more time, everybody. All the goons know what I'm talking about. Let go. Uh, do you think there's a chance that they might change your mind on Saturday? Do you leave a little room for that? Well, listen, Colby Covington, like him or not, the guy showed up in London. He cut weight. He did what he was supposed to do. Ooh. He deserves the fight against Leon. There's no doubt. We'll see how this fight turns out on Saturday. Ooh, and, come on, and, come the, on. and the best case scenario is one of these guys are next. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Well, When's the last time he finished somebody? Well, I know Dana likes action, so. Bro, violencia, 
es lo que yo les voy a dar a ellos para entretenerlos, para que se disfruten. Y lo que ellos me van a dar a mí es la energía buena, las vibraciones buenas. Todos somos mayormente inmigrantes, latinos, gente que hemos luchado por, don, por estar aquí en este país y, y por lo que tenemos. So, cuando venga la pelea, yo sé que me van a estar dando esa energía buena que, que es Miami. Yo siendo un hijo de Miami, lo voy a sentir desde que yo entré ahí. He's an absolute dog, man. Rob Font's an absolute dog, and I can't wait. Look, this, this whole training camp, I, I put myself in a Marvin Hagler mindset. Fucking war. Because, man, I got a guy who's going to go tooth and nail with me. That guy's going to be there every single time, man. I'm super excited. Super excited to fight a guy, man, who's not going to fucking back down. I'm super, man, I'm telling you. It's going to be a fucking war. That's why they put us on the Miami card. That's why they put us here. Because they want they to fucking fight here. Man, he's sharp. You know, he's, he's real sharp. He, he brings uh, a lot of pressure. He, he loves going to the body. But I really have a lot of faith in my jab. I, I believe once I get this thing going, man, it's going to be a long night for him for sure. Uh, Kevin, Santiago, your opponent, is a really well-rounded fighter and always brings a uh, high pace to his fights. Um, I'm curious, how are you going to nullify his pressure? And uh, ultimately, how are you going to get it done on Saturday night? Uh, footwork, angles, and then ultimately trying not to let him knock me the fuck out, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an exciting fight. This is the kind of opponent that I want. They, they want to put a show for the fans, you know, to give a award for everyone. And I'm man, ready to smash this guy and show to the world I'm one of the best. Walter Way, I need more opportunity for the belt. I have an injury. I was number six in the world, but now I'm going to prove to the world I stay in the best Walter Way to take my opportunity for the belt. And I'll ask you, uh, given what we know about what happened yesterday, do you think that Kevin's focus isn't entirely on you? And do you think that if he's looking past you, it'll hey, really don't, really e don't even answer that question. <laughs> no worries. 